Geraldine Doyle. Yep, that's my name. But you might know me as Rosie the Riveter. You know, from that poster, maybe this will help. Well, that's me. This picture was taken when I was 17 and working in a factory. I, it was 1942. I didn't even see this photo until about 1984. I was looking through a magazine, and at these times, women were fighting for equality. My picture became the poster for anti-strike, anti abatism and not to mention World War II and even women's rights. Although I was the icon of many associations, I was most famous for World War II. I was born on July 31st, 1924. My father, Cornelius, was an electrical contractor. Unfortunately, he died when I was 10. Without him, I don't think any of this would have happened. You see, without him, I, I never would have done what I did. I found myself working as a metal presser in the American Brooch and Machine Company. I was one of the first women to ever do so. We women became what the men relied on. We took over jobs that were formerly considered minerals. One day, while I was working, a man named J. Howard Miller was watching me do my work. He asked me to pose, so I did. Little did I know that he was going to create that picture and put that famous quote on top. We can do. He based this picture on me and women of my times. I saw it in a magazine about women's equality and rights in the working area. I hadn't even noticed it was me until I saw his name. After I quit the company, I went to go work at a boat shop working at the soda fountain in Ann Arbor. I'll never forget that because that is where I met the man of my dreams, Leo. He was a dental student at the time and we were married. I was the happiest woman alive. I had six children and later 18 grandchildren and 25 great-grandchildren. I had a wonderful life and I am proud of my contribution to American history. The poster of Rosie Riveter was a patriotic icon and never faded out of its fame. Geraldine Doyle's pictures are used widely and over the years even more. Although no one knew exactly who she was, many loved her. Her picture was an icon that scored many imitations. For example, comedians like Angela Johnson, models, even programs like the Service Learning Center, magazines, breast cancer foundations, sometimes even stamps. Long after the Rosie Riveter picture, Geraldine was diagnosed with arthritis, making her reliant on a wheelchair. Unfortunately, Geraldine died at the age of 86 on December 26, 2010, at hospice in Lansing, Michigan, from natural and age-related causes. But her inspiration lives on forever.